What's up everybody, welcome back. So as we continue to try out more interesting teams in the Kanto Cup, in this video, I'm gonna be trying out another really spicy Venema double dark line in the Kanto Cup. Now this team is actually pretty strong. It's a classic ABB line where uh, you basically lead with Venomoth, and as long as you don't run into, a, run into a fighter or a Charmer or a Buck type in the lead, you basically safe switch to Alolan Muck to bait out the biggest dark type counter so that Alolan Raticate has a pretty clear path to sweep towards endgame, right? Now, Alolan Raticate is one of the most underrated picks in the meta because it breaks apart the Hypno Alolan Marowak core, and as long as its biggest counter is out of the way, it can sweep most back lines, right? So anyways, let's move on to the first battle here. We have... Venomoth into a Hypno. Again, not a great lead, again, but luckily we have two Hypno counters in the back. So immediately gonna safe switch into my Alolan Muck here. And they come in with their Raichu. Now, the important thing about this matchup is I have to maintain switch advantage so that I can line up my Raticate against their Hypno, right? Even obviously Alolan Raticate can handle Hypno down a shield as well, as long as not they're not running Focus Blast. So I'm definitely gonna shield this. Uh, I'll probably invest two shields in this matchup if I have to, because I really want to maintain switch advantage right now. And I'm gonna overfarm a little bit, uh, try to sneak some uh, fast moves through. And I'm just gonna build up to two Dark Pulses here and then go back to back here. So I'm actually gonna build up to two Dark Pulses. I'm gonna go for the first one here. Uh, this is gonna do a lot of neutral damage against this Raichu. Let's see if this gets the shield. It does get the shield, which is okay. And luckily I'm able to get to another Dark Pulse just in time here. Now Raichu is pretty glassy, so uh, it's gonna do enough neutral damage to take it out from this range as it does there, which is fantastic. Because Hypno does come back in and because those confusions are resisted, I'm able to get to a Dark Pulse here. Now this is gonna do massive, super effective damage against Hypno because it's Shadow as well. Uh, and obviously because of the psychic typing, almost one shot set. Unfortunately, I'm not able to snarl farm it down, but I'm just gonna come in with my Alolan Raticate and just soak up whatever this charge move is. Uh, they blind through and ends up being a Shadow Ball. That's triple resisted because of the normal dark typing. And they have an Alolan Marowak in the back and it's GG's. They give up the match right there. So classic example, I mean, a lot of people like to run Hypno Alolan Marowak course, and especially when you can bait out the biggest counter that they have to their dark type. It's more likely that Alul and Radicate, even when you're down a shield, can pretty much beat most of their back lines, right? So anyways, moving into the second battle here, but there are a few weaknesses as you'll see right now. So we have Venomoth into a Machamp here. Pretty positively, definitely want to stay in because my back line doesn't have a great matchup against it. I mean, Alul and Muck has a decent matchup against it. Alul and Radicate definitely does not want to go up against a Machamp. So I'm gonna go for the Poison Fang here, uh, and it does get the shield, which is okay. And I'm gonna go for another Poison Fang. They are over farming quite a bit. So I'm worried about, I mean, they, yeah, they're probably gonna let this go through, which is fine. And then, yeah, I'm actually gonna shield this because I don't want any of my backline to go up against this Machamp. I actually let that go through. I was predicting the cross chop shield bait uh, because they did over farm quite a bit. It was a bit of a risky gamble, but luckily it paid off. And now I'm gonna shield the rock slide here. And then we're just gonna try and go for the Poison Fang as soon as possible. This is gonna take out the Machamp if, if it goes unshielded or come close to taking it out at least. It does take it out, which is fantastic. And they come in with their Alolan Sand Slash, which is running Metal Claw. Pretty interesting, most Alolan Sand Slashes run Power Snow. But they're probably running Metal Claw to provide uh, super effective coverage against Charmers, I guess. But anyways, Dark Pulse does quite a bit of damage here. And also, Alolan Muck is probably one of the best save swaps in the Kanto Cup meta. In fact, in any meta because of its fantastic coverage and typing. Uh, unfortunately, they land the Bulldoze there. I was expecting the Ice Punch, but they go straight for the Bulldoze, which is unfortunate, but it's fine. I'm gonna wait out the Switch Clock here, come in with my Alolan Radicate and try and completely farm it down with Bite. Of course, you can run either Quick Attack or Bite on Alolan Radicate. The reason I run Bite is because it obviously does a lot more damage, whereas Quick Attack generates energy a little quicker. They have uh, an Electrode in the back, right? So I'm gonna build up to a Crunch, go for the Crunch here. It's gonna do quite a bit of neutral damage to this Electrode if it goes unshielded. And it does do there. So immediately gonna actually, at this point, I'm actually gonna... Uh, this is where I make a little bit of a mistake. I should have shielded this. And honestly, if I'd shielded this, I could have won this. So uh, I'm gonna come in, with, uh, because I thought my Venomoth had a little bit more health. I'm gonna come in with my Venomoth, go for the Bug Buzz here. And this is gonna take out the Electrode from this range. And yeah, I mean, Alolan Sand Slash is gonna be able to come in and take us out there. So definitely had to shield the Alolan Radicate because if I'd done that, we basically wasted a shield there. I mean, could have farmed it down with Bite and could have won that game. So definitely a misplay on my part. It's a game I should have won. But yeah, I mean, I probably thought that Venomoth would be able to clean up, right? But again, Alolan Radicate is pretty tanky. So uh, yeah, As, even if there are no shields in play, it can actually do pretty well. But obviously that was one of those situations where it didn't. So moving into the third battle here, we, have, uh, we had Hypno on the lead, which is fantastic. Uh, I mean, not great. Basically, I switch into my Alolan Muck. They come in with the Venusaur, which is fantastic, right? Because at this point, I'm going to be able to maintain switch advantage because Venusaur is definitely not a counter to an Alolan Muck. And this tells me that they don't have any answers to Alolan Muck in the back, which could also mean that uh, my 
Alone will eradicate his pretty clear path to sweep and game. Then over farm a little bit here. I'm actually gonna shield this up. I'm actually gonna build up two dark pulses and go back to back here. So yeah, I'm gonna shield this up and then gonna try and build up two dark pulses. Gonna go for the first one here. And this is gonna do this is almost gonna KO if it goes on shield. Let's see what what they decide to do here. They do let that go through. Or uh, doesn't quite KO, so I'm forced to throw another one right now. This is almost for sure gonna KO. I'm hoping they let that go through because I really want to win switch advantage, which we do, which is fantastic because Hypno does come back in. And again, because those confusions are resisted, I'm able to get to another Dark Pulse, which is absolutely massive, right? And it's probably going to get the second shield from the Hypno as it does there, which is great because I'm going to be able to come in with my Alolan Radicate and clean up here. So I'm going to come in with my Alolan Radicate and Bite is just doing so much damage right now. And I'm going to shield this up because they have so much energy. This could be Focus Blast. But it just ends up being Ice Punch. They probably don't have Focus Blast. They come in with their Alolan Muck. I'm not sure why they didn't switch their Alolan Muck into mine. And I'm going to come in with my Venomoth here. Venomoth is a decent matchup against Alolan Muck. Yes, we're going to take neutral damage from both Dark... Uh, Beg your pardon, we're going to take neutral damage from the Dark type moves, whereas Poison type moves will be resisted. But then again, Bug Buzz is going to do a lot of neutral damage, right? Uh, because of that dark uh, Poison typing. And yeah, I'm going to try and get to a Poison Fang as soon as possible. Unfortunately, we lose CMP, which is absolutely fine. Because at this point, I'm going to be able to come back with my Alolan Eraticate and farm this Alolan Muck down and hopefully land a crunch on the Hypno, right? So Hypno does come back in, I should be able to get to a crunch here, but they do decide to give up the match right there. So... Another classic, I mean, Hypno leads aren't as much of an issue, even though you lose the lead there. Typically, I mean, most people have only one counter to dark types, and as long as you can get it out of the way, you can still line up the Hypno against Stradicate towards the end there, right? So moving into the fourth battle here, we have Venomoth into an Alolan Sand Slash here. Not a great matchup, this. Uh, gonna try and switch into my Alolan Muck as soon as possible here, and they are still staying in. I do have to watch out for Bulldoze in this matchup, so I'm just gonna go straight for the Dark Pearls right now. It's gonna do quite a bit of neutral damage if it goes on Shielded. As it does there, which is fantastic. But they actually make a switch into their Wiggly Tuff, which is fine. I'm going to be able to get to a Sludge Wave here. And this is this will pretty much one-shot the Wiggly Tuff, right? Because it's super effective because of the Fairy typing. And let's see what they decide to do here. They do shield that, which is okay. And then they're going to be able to charm down, which is not great. But at this point, I'm going to have to... I mean, Venomoth is my only play here, right? I cannot allow my Wiggly Tuff... I mean, I cannot allow the Raticate to go up against the Wiggly Tuff. So I'm definitely going to shield this because Ice Beam would do quite a bit of neutral damage. And I'm going to build up a lot of extra energy here and then go straight for Poison Fangs right now. Obviously, you don't want to go for Bug Buzz because it's resisted, whereas Poison Fang is super effective. And it's obviously not going to do that much because it's not a great move. Should be able to get to another one here. And let's see if they want to shield this. Uh, I'm hoping they let this go through actually, but they do let that go through, which is fantastic. And they come in with their Alolan Sand Slash. Going to switch into my Raticate here. And then I'm going to not shield this. It's okay. Even if it's Bulldoze, I'm not worried about it. It's only going to do neutral damage. And again, Alolan Raticate is pretty tanky. I'm going to try and completely farm this Alolan Sand Slash down. And at this point, I'm probably going to shield this because I want to preserve the health of it a bit a bit more. And then they have an Alolan Muck in the back. They have an Alolan Marowak, beg your pardon. And then this is where I make a bit of a mistake, actually. I mean, I probably should have switched into my Venomoth to catch the move right there because, again, yeah, I'm just going to go for the Crunch right now. It's going to do quite a bit of... I mean, it is going to get the shield, obviously. Uh, and yeah, this is... I mean, we're taking so much damage from Fire Spins. And yeah, this is where... Honestly, I mean, my only win condition there was to probably catch one of, of the Bone Club or something on my Venomoth and probably preserve the Alolan Radicate a little bit more. But then again, when shields are down, it's always harder, right? So Shadowbound is going to take it out and that's going to be a GG. So, I mean, probably a little bit of a misplay from my part. I guess it's one of those matchups where I couldn't have done too much, but uh, maybe could have played that slightly better there. So 2-2 in the set right now. I mean, this team is honestly much better than this set, this set showcases it, but I obviously wanted to sort of present a balanced showcase here. Uh, pretty bad matchup this with Alolan Marowak in the lead. Again, we have double Alolan Marowak counters in the back, which is pretty good. And they come in with their Wiggly Tough, which is fantastic. This is exactly why you have this team comp, right? You want to bait out the Charmer. I'm going to go for the Sludge Wave here. And Sludge Wave does get the shield from the Wiggly Tough. And at this point, I should be able to get to another Sludge Wave. I'm really hoping I can get it before they can get to another move. They are trying to farm down, which is fantastic because I should be able to get to another Sludge Wave here. Let's see if they want to give up their second shield, but they do let that go through that. I think they're probably miscounting. They probably thought it was a Dark Pulse or something, but this is fantastic, right? Because at this point, we have Switch and Shield Advantage, and I can line up my Radicate against this Alolan, Alolan uh, Marowak here. And I'm going to let this go through. Ends up being a Fire Blast, actually. That almost ends up costing me the game, actually. Uh, so, I'm, yeah, I'm going to try and farm it down a little bit more, but they make a switch into that Beedrill. So, I'm going to come in with my Venomoth here, and then let's see what they decide to do. They are actually staying in. I'm going to shield this up, but this is pretty tricky, right? Because, uh, yeah, it's going to be slightly hard right now, because luckily I'm able to get to a Poison Fang just in time here. And let's see if this gets the shield from Beedrill. But this is going to be extremely close right now. 
and it doesn't get the shield at this point i'm going to uh, go for the bug bus i mean doesn't get the shield beg your pardon and yeah it does quite a bit of damage there and then they go fell stinger which is fine i'm going to shield that Un unfortunately i mean i probably shouldn't have shielded that if you if i'm being completely honest but they come in with their Alolan Muck, Alolan Marowak here. I'm going to be able to get to a Poison Fang. And let's see how much this does to an Alolan. This is probably going to get the shield from the Alolan Marowak. And I should be able to get to another Poison Fang here. And luckily I'm able to get to a Poison Fang just in time. And this is going to take out the Alolan Marowak and take the win for us there. So extremely close battle as you can see. I mean, I think I definitely misplayed the Beedrill matchup. I got, sorry, I got a bit confused there because, uh, I mean, I was thinking how did I pull this off? But luckily, I mean, I think that Alolan Marowak had a bit of stored energy. They were trying to farm down to throw a move on my Alolan Radicate, but... Yeah, I was extremely close there. So, I mean, as I said that, I could have gone 4-1 with for sure. But yeah, overall, at least 4-1. Probably even 5-0. But overall, I think this team definitely has potential to go 5-0 there. So, anyways, thank you so much for watching. And uh, I'll see you next time.